Hey folks, welcome to the series. So this is a new series that CyberYacker and I are putting together. We are going to review as many of the local fishing spots in the greater Austin, Texas area that we can find. Now, some of these places we've never been to before and we'll be seeing them for the first time. Some of them we fish all the time. And what we're gonna be looking for is how fishing friendly they are. Not just for bank fishing, but for kayaking, for the kayak launches. Can you bring a trailer in and out easily? So these are all the things that we're looking for. If you have fished any of these locations as well, share your comments below. We wanna hear your opinions on them as well. Maybe you've discovered something about these locations that we haven't picked up on yet. So share that, share this with your friends and stay tuned for more. Hey folks, Suzanne here with Real Lady Adventures and Charles with Cyber Yacker Adventures and I are out here at Lakewood Park in Leander. We are out here checking this place out. It's new to us and actually relatively new to the area. Checking it out to see just how fishing friendly and how kayak friendly this place is. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna check out is what they call the kayak pavilion and the boat ramp. Um, not a boat ramp in the sense where you could back a trailer up to it. Uh, they don't have any of that here. It is pretty much just a kayak launch. So from the parking area, you've got this circular drive. You can come up, looks like you can maybe drop off your equipment and then go park and come back for it. And the actual little launch ramp is right down here. Meanwhile, they have this thing, this is new to me, um, called Paddle EZ. So you can actually come here, go to the website. Um, I guess you put in your credit card number, they give you a pin, and then you come and you take your PFDs, your kayaks, or your paddle boards. They've got two paddle boards here. That's kind of an interesting concept. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, but then this is the little launch ramp comes out into like a looks like a little lagoon i don't know a little odd here but and then you just go through that little section there and you're out to the rest of the lake i'm not really sure how i feel about this part of it i guess if you're with somebody you know you can drop off your equipment one person can stay here the other person can go back and park um, but coming here by yourself and leaving your stuff, especially if you have a lot of expensive fishing equipment, maybe not be the best thing. So anyways, this is the kayak launch and all the couple of rentables that you've got there. Okay, next we are going to go check out the rest of this lake and see what's here. So leaving the little kayak launch, we are going to check out the rest of the lake, see if there's maybe other, other better spots to launch that might be closer to the parking, maybe just a little safer. Coming up on one right here. It's not the only place I've seen the launch so far. Only yep. a flat place. Yeah, a couple of drop-offs. Not Those here though. Other Here's place, flat. yeah, up ahead. But the lake itself looks pretty. I mean, Pretty good sized lake. So we do have some access down here. You could park, throw your kayak on some wheels, wheel it down here. About a hundred, minimum 150 yard pole. Gotta be something closer. Yep, let's find out. Let's find out. We've got a little, looks like a little picnic pavilion down here. I'm gonna go check that out and see if there's either a better launch spot or somewhere for bank fishing. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a lot of spots for bank fishing. Look at the bank fishing, it's dropping the kayak down. I'm 
curious to see once I can actually cast again <laughs> if there's any good fishing here. You could get away with launching here. Yeah, you could. If the water doesn't go any lower, got a lot of yeah, but the paddle boards? Wood and logs. Yeah, the paddle boards would work. And then over there in the distance, don't know if you can see it on this video, is apparently a very large fishing pier. So we'll go check that out too. Nice little picnic area though. Let's see if we can check out some of the wildlife here. Got a lot of birds. See if we can get up close to them before they... Nope, flew away. Looks like there used to be something here. No, just random trees. I mean, you could launch here if you don't mind stepping in on that stuff. But you're not going to step from here into the kayak. Yeah, no, that's kind of a far in. drop. Well, I'm saying if you put the kayak in there first, you just the way that this is, your body would twist the kayak and you would flip. So it'd be easiest to step down. We'll roll it over here. Then you're fighting the rocks again. Maybe there's a place before the fishing piers. What's over there? Is that park or is that somebody else's stuff? It looks like people's houses and stuff. Yeah, it kind of looks like houses, but I don't know. We can look on the map and find out. Once we get over to the... Maybe that's a lot. Okay. Another muddy path. I think this leads down to the fishing dock. Let's see what's down here. What do you think so far? Looks like good fishing, but it doesn't really look like good access to kayaks. Yeah, that could be a problem. I mean, there's good access at that spot, but I guarantee you, when it's summer, spring, it'd be hard because like you got one spot, and there'll probably be a whole line of people waiting to unload, and then you got to walk way far away from your gear to park. I don't think it's ideal. Are they burying a dead body? I don't know. They got shovels. They're doing something over there. Shh, don't Do I hear anything. banjos? <laughs> Run. I'm hearing <laughs> banjos. Okay, what does this say? There's a sign over here for the fishing pier. Let's see what this says. Okay, fishing pier. We have fishing pier rules. Valid Texas fishing license. Okay, I'll let y'all read that at your leisure. I'm not going to read it all out, but there you go. Rules for the fishing pier. And here's the fishing pier. Looks like we've got one person out here fishing today. Two. Two? Yeah, we got a big circular walk around here. Kind of cool. Get you out a little bit further into the lake. It's good for people like me who can't cast very far to begin with. We've got some more wildlife over there. What's over there? Is that somebody's house? I think there's houses over to the right. But I don't know what that big building is there left. That could be somebody's house, but it looks kind of big. That's what she said. Is there a dead kayak in the water? Where? Oh, it does kind of look like one, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting. So we've got one person fishing with a whole bunch of poles set up. Oh, 
talking to those gentlemen. Looks like we've got catfish, maybe some bass. But also not very deep. They're saying about four feet deep, pretty far out. Well, you can see. Yeah. You can see the bottom. Yep. Way out to here. Still see bottom. Still see bottom. Yeah, even a little further out, I can still see the rocks out on the bottom. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but... So that's the fishing pier. Pier. Okay, so that's Lakewood Park in Leander. If any of you folks have been out here, if you've fished out here, if you've kayaked out here or paddleboarded, um, drop a note down on the comments. Let me know what your thoughts on it are.